Okay, so I'm back with uh, part two of this video. So in part one I took apart the original brass forks and I found that they were previously disassembled and some parts were misplaced. So I had a look at the stanchions. These, these are gone too far, they need to go in the bin. I tried to source new ones and I did, I sourced new ones. Uh, but that still left me with the problem that I had um, which was parts were missing from the original fork so I had to find all those bits. So the idea here is that I'm going to move all the internals over um, from the bro from the CB600 onto the brass and the reason reason I have to do that I can't just reuse them as a, as a whole is because the the CB600 has two calipers uh, the brass obviously has one I'd have to change wheels uh, get a new mud guard uh, I'm not sure if the the spindle is, is the same even um, the the speedo drive all that kind of stuff so I'd have to buy a lot of hardware to uh, uh, to keep the the CB600 forks so let's get this assembly open the bottom screw and drain the rest of it. Yeah. yeah, that's what I say. 500 mil and it looks like it's a little bit more than 500 mil, but not a whole heap. Seals. Clip. You don't want to scratch the fork now at this point. So just take your time. And up she goes. Let's put them side by side with the brass ones and see see what they look like. Okay, so I took apart the uh, the CB600 forks. These ones here. I shoot that came out of it. Um, the brass 400. There's the CB600. Um, as you can see, this CB600 is a bit shorter. But that's okay, and um, that's not going to cause me too much hassle. The brass, I'm measuring that this the the diameter, uh, the the length of this, six fifty two mil, uh, versus six hundred or there about six hundred mil, and then you can see the spring is also different. That that's about three fifty mil, uh, compared to three ten. So I, I opened up the CB six hundred forks, and it turns out they're incomplete as well. So. Um, so I've had to order parts for the CB600 forks now as well to make this work. The, the this cartridge here is, is identical. Uh, so there's there's a lot of parts that are actually identical. This this bottom spring, this um, this rebound spring, is identical. It it, it seems to be that they fitted this particular spring into almost all of these shocks. The bushings identical. No 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 difference. Uh, the seals are obviously identical. This uh, this kind of uh, this this washer that that goes in here that's also identical. Uh, the spring seat is identical. Again, that was missing in the second fork that I took apart, so I had to order that as well. The cap, the caps are identical. I know I didn't put the second one on, but they're actually identical. Okay, just have a look at them side by side. Identical. So yeah, the the forks are more or less identical, bar the actual length of the fork. So I have an idea because this is. Um, 
this is about 50 mil in around 50 mil difference between them what I thought of doing um, the brass so as you know the brass clip on sits on top um, like that so that's about 5 mil and that sits on top so what I did was I got spurious clip ons and what I'll do is I'll put the spurious clip on below it that will actually give me the same ride height um, and it will also go with that cafe cafe racer style look um, so that's that's kind of going to be my solution on this um, the alternative was to order new new uh, new stanchions but um, yeah it's just time kind of otherwise I'm sitting I'm sitting on this project for such a long time so I just want to progress it a little bit and uh, it seems that every time I open something up it's a Pandora's box it's a, a list of shopping I had to order the new bushings because these are all worn as you can see them they're well worn so they're gone the nylon has gone off them so um, so there but the, the, the stanchions are fine on the on the new ones so um, so yeah I had to order a couple of things in uh, for, for these new ones so it looks like the assembly video will actually be a, another video because uh, yeah this is just growing legs every time every time I go at something it seems to uh, seems to be a list it seems that no one maintains anything but so far I'm actually happy I'm really happy with the with with what I got with the decision I made with the CB600 they're much more readily available as well so if I ever have an issue I can get a tube much quicker the brass one seems to be kind of going out of fashion at this stage I suppose the age of the bike it's not a perfect solution it's not a solution that's going to be for everybody and it's not one that I'm recommending it's just um, I'm a little bit desperate at this stage to get this thing moving um, so this is what I'm going to go with uh, everything is identical this is identical size it's just the height but that's purely because of these these holes they have to be exposed so as you see if um, if you had a longer one if you did this it would cover it so not a good idea so there's it so yeah so you can basically replace everything that you take out the only thing you're, you're keeping here off the brass is the leg itself everything else gets replaced and oh yeah I think that's a win and um, I know there's a couple of things missing and a couple of things I need to replace but they're easily replaceable everything is on order so I should have them in a couple of days